my dear students this is a previous year question regarding reflection you can just see these two mirrors are there om and op light ray enters from here pq it strikes the first mirror then reflects strikes the second mirror then reflects and comes out it comes out along the direction of res so pq res is the direction of light ray and now when the light ray incident on the first mirror this is a second mirror it incidents with an angle theta it takes double reflections and comes out and it is said in the question that what it is said the reflected ray is parallel to the first mirror this is this is the first and this is second after taking two reflections the light ray which is coming out which is said to be res it is going to be the parallel to om this is going to parallel to om that is the question here if these two are parallel then what happens let us see here now if when these two are parallel this is said to be 70 degrees why it is 70 these two are corresponding angles if this is 70 this is also 70 these are called as glancing angles and they are going to be same let me discuss what is the meaning of glancing angle for example this is a normal this is a mirror here a light ray strikes in this direction and reflects back angle of incidence is there angle of reflection is there this is said to be glancing angle this is also said to be the glancing angle these two angles are same always you just remember that concept that means these two are going to be glancing this is taken as normal here okay so therefore these two are glancing they are going to be same and he's asking us to find out theta here let us see here now this is 70 70 it is going to be 140 and what is this remaining angle we should find out now this remaining angle is nothing but 180 minus 140 because angle sum property the sum of an angles of a triangle are going to be 180 degrees 70 70 plus some other angle here this is question mark these three combined together should be 180 that is said to be asp angle sum property let us see what is going to happen if you want to find out this one subtract 180 with 70 plus 70 is 140 will be 40 here that means what is this going to be? We got this as 40. We got this as 40. That means if this is 40, this is also 40. Because of glancing angles. Glancing angles are same. Now let us see 40 and 40. And this is the normal. That means uh, as this is normal, theta plus 40 should be equal to 90 this plus this should be equal to 90 that means theta will be 90 minus 40 that is taken as 50 degrees so therefore that is going to be your correct answer your correct answer is going to be 50 that is this one hope you enjoyed this lecture regarding previous year for full lectures download the app which is given in the description thank you my dear students, this is a previous year question of a mirror shifting. Now, this is an object and this is the original position of a mirror. The distance is 12 centimeters. That means from an object to the mirror and the mirror to the image, the distance is going to be same. That means this is 12 means that is also 12. If the mirror is shifted 4 centimeters, how much distance the image is shifted that is the question here my dear from here if it is shifted 4 centimeters now the new distance from the mirror to the object is reducing by 12 minus 4 that is going to be 8 centimeters okay that means from the mirror to the image also it is going to be 8 centimeters that means now the image will be here image is shifted from i to i dash okay that means how much is image shifted means uh, actually the total distance is 24 centimeters now the new distance from the object and the new image is going to be 16 centimeters that means 12 minus 16 12 minus 16 oh, sorry 24 minus 16 uh, gives you 8 centimeters that means the image is also shifted uh, how much 8 centimeters from here to here thank you
my dear students how to find out the time in the image of a clock when in the object the time is going to be 9 27 a.m then what is the time shown by the image of a clock because of the mirror this is a case of lateral inversion the watch appears to be laterally inverted then what is the time in the image of a clock further the simple method which will eliminate all the confusions is 12 hours can be written as 11 hours 60 minutes because the 60 minutes if you add here it becomes 12 hours again so what you have to do this time you have to subtract from here that means 9 hours 27 minutes if you subtract from instead of writing 12 you write 11 60 then what happens let us see here now so it is going to be 3 so here it is 5 again 3 so therefore from here if you uh, subtract will be getting how much 2 okay so therefore the clock is showing 233 okay it is showing 233 that's it my dear friends this is a case of deviation how to find out the deviation when the light ray when the incident ray makes angle 30 degrees with the normal if this is 30 this is going to be 30 degrees he is asking us to find out the deviation okay what is the meaning of deviation actual path of the light ray is this one but the reflected uh, is moving in this direction so how much it is deviated from the actual path this is an actual path it is deviated in this direction how much is going to be the deviation so for that you should know one thing here so 30 plus 30 plus deviation is equal to 180 so therefore deviation is 180 minus 60 which is nothing but 120 degrees this is one question then let us go for the next question so in this question uh, a light ray strikes the mirror at an angle of 30 degrees with the mirror previously it was making with the normal 30 degrees but it is making with the mirror because this is going to be the mirror okay so this is going to be the mirror with the mirror it is making 60 degrees means uh, with the normal it is going to make uh, 60 degrees this is 30 means this is 60 because normal means uh, some will be 90 degrees normal is nothing but 90 degrees so this is 60 means this is also 60 okay so here the total angle if you consider 60 plus 60 plus deviation is 180 degrees because this is a straight line which is making 180 degrees therefore deviation is equal to 180 minus 60 plus 60 is nothing but 120 our answer is going to be 60 degrees so this is going to be our answer hope you have enjoyed my dear students let us discuss this problem which is given in the previous year questions he is giving the two mirrors m1 and m2 and the angle between them is theta and we have to find out that angle theta it is said in the problem that one light ray PQ enters in this direction in such a way that PQ is parallel to OM2 here PQ is parallel to OM it enters like this it takes single reflection again it takes double reflection it comes out like this and while coming out these two are parallel that means this mirror M, OM1 and RS are going to be parallel here in such situation is asking us to find out this angle theta how should we find out this angle theta here for that as these two are parallel okay if this is theta this is also going to be theta here this is said to be corresponding angles if this is theta this is also theta because these two are called as glancing angles or angle of glancing and uh, similarly these two are parallel according to the problem if this is theta this is also going to be theta because of corresponding angles if this is theta this is also going to be theta because these two are called as glancing angles and we have discussed about glancing angles already if this is the normal a light ray enters strikes and reflects back like this and this is going to be the mirror here this is going to be the mirror so this is angle of incidence this is angle of reflection these two are called as glancing angles and they are going to be always same in a concept of reflection so therefore these two are same these two are same because these are just like glancing angles here now these three angles are theta plus theta plus theta they are going to be same and they are going to be 180 degrees this is said to be angle sum property that means sum of angles in a triangle is going to be 180 degrees therefore 3 theta is equal to 180 degrees and therefore theta is equal to 180 degrees by 3 
which is nothing but 60 degrees. So, this unknown angle, the angle between the two mirrors is going to be 60 degrees. That you have to remember. Now, let us go for the next problem here. In this next problem, it is said that the angle between the two mirrors is going to be 75 degrees. And the light is incident uh, in this direction, that is P, Q and R and in this direction it is coming out. Okay? And it is given that it is 30 degrees in the problem itself. And how, what is going to ask? He is asking us to find out the, what is the total deviation. Okay? So how are you going to find out the total deviation? For example, uh, this is the light ray which is this is the light ray which is going to enter like this and this is the light ray which is coming outside like this. Okay? Entering in this direction exit. So this total angle is said to be angle of deviation. And we have already given the derivation for angle of deviation for two mirrors at certain angle. The angle of deviation is going to be theta is equal to 360, I mean delta is equal to 360 minus 2 theta. Delta is said to be deviation which is 360 minus 2 theta where theta is the angle between the two mirrors. Therefore delta is equal to 360 minus 2 into 75. It is nothing but 360 minus 2 into 75 is nothing but 150 degrees. So therefore which is going to be 210 degrees Celsius. Hence we got the solution for this type of reflection problems. Thank you.